We are giving you exactly 30 seconds to decide who you want to pair up with. The last person I want to work with is Sean Hickey. The last time we worked together, Sean kind of botched the main protein of our dish. Your 30 seconds starts now. Mary. I, do you I, I don't have it. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. The people that don't have any ingredients have to match up with people that do have ingredients. Julia. Okay. It's kind of hard in 30 seconds to really decide on someone. Clock ticking. Everyone's just kind of running towards each other. Can I work with you? Yes. Before I knew it, I ended up with Sean Hickey. All right, time's up. We got the two Sean's over there. I'm a little concerned because Sean and I have different cooking styles. He's a little more old school. I'm a little more new school. What inspired this collaboration? Two Sean's make it right. It's going to be interesting. The first thing I would do is determine who the leader is. I think you need to have one leader. I don't think you can have two people that are having a power struggle. Can you listen to me? Yeah. Come into a pasta salad. I've got an amazing plan, and I just need to convince Jennifer to go with it. I can make pasta, and I'm yeah. fast with pasta. Yeah? Yes. Is that what you want to do? Yes. Let's do that. Okay, gonna, I trust you. I am so excited to work with Terry because he's an absolute genius. I am trusting my partner here, and I'm ready to work my way to the winner's circle. Oh, the irony. I'm <laughs> Italian, and you're making the pasta. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> What we're cooking today is we're going to make a mustard crusted pork tenderloin with polenta and peas. I think we're both contributing to the dish in wonderful ways. I want to get a good sear on this. I would pick the pork. I would use the polenta. I would probably use the kale, the parsnip. We're making a stuffed pork tenderloin. We're stuffing it with peach and herbs. Sean's doing a, uh... what are you doing again with the veg? I'm going to make a parsnip and uh, pea puree. You see that how it's happening here with Sean and Sean? They have not really communicated between one another since they've started cooking. I'm going to do my thing, he's going to do his thing, and we're going to marry together a beautiful day. No communication? Huh? That could be a dangerous move. You gotta get this in the oven ASAP. Yeah. You know, pork is a tricky meat to master. Some people like it well done. Personally, I think it should be between medium and medium rare. That's the sweet spot. So we're doing a stuffed pork tenderloin, roulade, with a peach sauce and polenta fries. I did the pork roulade, he's doing the polenta fries. I'm feeling great about this partnership. I think we stand out as a team because we trust each other. We're the best team, I think, today. We want that advantage and we're, we're gonna work hard to get it. 20 minutes, you have 20 minutes left. Oh, careful. The pork tenderloin is cooking. We're good. Sean Hickey still hasn't cooked his pork tenderloin. It's gotta be cooked, right? So yeah. that's the priority right now. Pork's in, pork's in, we're okay. Talk about leaving it to the last minute. You have 15 minutes left. Matthew, Mary, tell me, tell me, what are you making? We're doing a poached shrimp on top of a polenta cake with some pea puree. You have won previous challenge, you have won the challenge, so this must be a marriage made in heaven? Hopefully. Yes, hopefully, chef. Mary has been my biggest competition since day one. So getting to know how Mary's brain operates is great. Mary, what do you think of these kale chips? Put a little oil on them next time. Yeah. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Good luck. We want this advantage, Mary, eh? So we're gonna boil the pasta in broth. Yeah. Just to inject some flavor yeah. in it. Terry, what are you making here? We're making a bow tie pasta, and we've got some very beautiful herbs and vegetables to support it. Who's deciding what happens here? Terry's actually leading by storm, and I'm totally okay with that. Let me ask you a question now. Sure. Who's gonna be to blame if this dish is a bit of a disaster? If this dish is a disaster, it's both of our faults. I look forward to seeing it. Five minutes, you have five minutes left! <laughs> Sean was a little late at getting the pork tenderloin in the oven. This is the drama moment for us. How is it, man? Toronto middle. Oh, my God. Sean's pork is raw. Let's go. Just get on there. Just get on there, man. Our meat's a little undercooked, so we're going to try and cut it and then sear it. Two minutes. You have two minutes left. Shake, shake, shake. April Lee and Julia, they are perfect harmony right now. Those look beautiful. I think they'll be really good to help Julia? us with our height. I right? love them. Yeah, I love them. Ah! Oh, shoot. Terry is basically dictating everything to Jennifer. Can you chop this finely for me? Oh, yeah. He is leading the charge without doubt. It's a little bit under. Oh, my gosh, I think it's beautiful. It's actually cooked to perfection. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I feel 
great. It looks beautiful. The flavors are where I want them to be. We think the plate looks really beautiful, so we're, we're really happy with it. Yeah. I'm frankly embarrassed with the dish. It's just not up to par with what I want, especially here at MasterChef Canada. The first dish that we'd like to call up was made by a team that worked like a well-oiled machine. The plate is beautiful. I really think we have a good chance to win this mystery box. That dish belonged to April Lee and Julia. Please bring up your dish. <laughs> I'm trembling in excitement and happiness that they called our name. It's an Asian slaw with a peach grilled prawn and a parsnip fry on top. And who took the lead in this creation? I'd say it was really even. We both had as much say in every element. We made a great team. Visually, I like the composition. All right. It's really good. The shrimp's perfectly cooked, and the peach is sweet, so it has a great counterbalance to the heat. Really outstanding. That slow dressing is wonderful. It makes a perfect foundation for such a delicious shrimp dish. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Jacqueline and Jeremy. Nice. It is a pork roulade with a stuffing of garlic, shallots, and pistachios, a peach sauce, a parsnip puree, and polenta fries. What do you think you learned about yourselves and each other? I like that I could trust Jeremy and we divided tasks right away and we could just work on our own component. Wonderful. Pork looks like it's cooked very nicely. Thank you. A nice little pink blush to it. Delicious. Moist, rich, flavorful. That little sweetness of the background coming from the peaches. Well done, guys. Chef. Nice job. You know what I like about this dish? The polenta fries. I bite into it, I taste the polenta, I taste the corn. So you honor the ingredients. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Very nicely done. The last two home cooks that we'd like to call up, their collaboration on the plate seemed ambitious and innovative. Please, 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 please. Please come up. Terry and Jennifer. This is prawn farfalle pasta salad with pistachios, peas, and kale. The colors just jump out. Fantastic. I noticed you had soy sauce in your station. Yes, Chef. We used that to marinate the shrimp. You don't typically see soy sauce and Italian food together. Let's see how it tastes. a dish that tastes this way. This is a very new taste for me. That is delicious. It's an original. <laughs> the soy gives you that great salt component. And then you have these little hits of the pistachio, the kale. You're a very clever man. Thank you, Chef. Jennifer, you were very smart, too, to follow Terry's lead. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. As you know, only one dish can win the Mystery Box Challenge, and choosing the team that made that dish was not an easy decision. We've got this Mystery Box Challenge in the bag. Terry and Jennifer, congratulations. It feels good to finally be recognized and have the judges taste my food and appreciate it. The win showed that I can actually cook. I cannot stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs>